In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to turn off sales tax in QuickBooks Online. This tutorial is especially helpful if you're finding it necessary to adjust your tax settings or if your business no longer needs to charge sales tax. The process is straightforward and I'll guide you through each step so you can get this done efficiently. Grab your login details and let's begin. First, you'll need to sign into your QuickBooks Online account. If you're already on the QuickBooks homepage, you can easily locate the sign in button. Click on that and you'll be prompted to enter your credentials. This involves typing in your username and password. Once you've entered this information, click continue to proceed. It's always a good idea to ensure you're using a secure network and device to protect your financial information. Now that you're logged into QuickBooks, navigate to the taxes tab. You can do this by looking for the option on your QuickBooks dashboard. It usually appears prominently as it's a frequent feature used for businesses that deal with sales tax calculations. Click on the Taxes tab, which will take you to the Sales Tax Center. Within the Sales Tax Center, you'll find an option labeled Sales Tax. Select it to move to the next screen, which shows all your sales tax settings and recent activities. At the top right corner of this page, you'll notice a button for Sales Tax Settings. Clicking on this will reveal several options related to how sales tax is configured for your account. Once you're in the settings, look for the drop down menu that appears next to the edit button. The drop down is your gateway to making further changes to your existing tax settings. Click on the drop down and you'll see an option that says make inactive. This is the key step. When you choose make inactive, you effectively disable the sales tax calculations associated with your QuickBooks account. Don't worry if you see this option as it is entirely reversible if you ever need to reinstate sales tax calculations. To finalize this setting change, you might need to confirm your choice. QuickBooks could prompt you with a confirmation dialogue to ensure you are deliberate about disabling sales tax features. Simply acknowledge any prompts with a yes or okay, and you have successfully turned off sales tax in QuickBooks Online. By following these steps, you will have made your sales tax inactive and hopefully streamlined your business operations until such a time you need to reactivate. If you ever need to revisit these settings, simply follow the same steps in reverse, making your sales tax active once again. Remember, adjustments like these can be pivotal to aligning your QuickBooks system with your business's current needs. Thank you for watching and I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more QuickBooks tips and tricks.